Hey there, you beautiful people. How's it going? Now, as some of you may know, at the end of this month, I'm off to a LARP event called Future's End. And in preparation for the event, I've been working on lots of kit. So this week, I thought I'd do a little tutorial to show you how to turn a boring old, normal, plain black leather jacket and make it look like it's straight out of the wastelands or Mad Max. Basically, we're gonna make it look absolutely badass. While this won't be used for my character, I'll definitely be using it for monstering, so the hordes of players can pagger me into the ground, so it's definitely gonna see a lot of action over the weekend. So without further ado, let's head out to the shed. So let's see exactly what we're working with this week. Well, we've upgraded our acetone, we've got a stronger stuff here. I got this from a modeling shop, uh, but I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can get it on Amazon. And we've got some isopropanol as well, which works exactly the same as acetone. We've got our handy yellow cloth for rubbing in all the acetone, getting all the dye out of the jacket. Some sandpaper as well, just to hit those spot areas. And then this. So this is the main thing that we're going to need. This gives us all that lovely yellow dusty colour that we're going to see on the jacket and make the end result look really, really cool. So the first thing that we need to do is take our acetone and start getting the dye out. As always, get your yellow cloth, get it all on there, nice and saturated, and just start rubbing it in. There we go, we can see already lots of colours coming out of it. Now the main aim is to start getting rid of all the shine. So you'll see here, hopefully you can see anyway, that it's quite shiny from the dye on the other side. So it's to be a lot more muted and dulled out. And that's exactly what we're after. I should probably point out that this step can take bloody ages. So just keep going until you're happy really. Right, now that we've done that and taken a lot of the shine out of it, it's time to introduce this to some concrete. So, I've got to leave the workshop and go outside. When we start rubbing our jack on the concrete, it goes this greyish colour. But that's not what we're going to want. On that nice, rich, yellow dust look. So we're going to take our building sand and use that instead. already we're looking pretty awesome so just carry on right let's do the other side It's going to be worth paying attention to little straps and buckles like this. Get them all duffed up. Well, you got a bit of that sometimes. Don't forget to get the inside, otherwise it's going to look well out of place. Just do the leather bits though, otherwise you're knackered the lining. Right, I reckon that's us about done. That's a good badass. And here we have it, our finished article looking absolutely amazing. Now, as I said, this is going to be used at an event called Future's End, but I'm definitely sure I can find other uses for it. Maybe do an awesome cosplay or Halloween, because that's coming up soon as well. If you enjoyed the tutorial and you end up making your own awesome looking jacket, why not show me? You can hit me up on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Tumblr. And all the links to my social media and all the information on Future's End can be found in the description below. And hey, if you've got any questions or suggestions on other things you want to see, let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you found this tutorial really, really useful. And if you did, give it a big old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So that's it for this week, guys. If you click down here on the left, you'll get the tutorial for the boots I did the other week. 
And if you click down here on the right, you will get the hots and knots from the last Empire event I went to, which was Y43. So, until next time, I've been Adman, you've been awesome, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.